created Species Nutrition with one mission in mind, to provide bodybuilders and serious athletes with no-nonsense supplements that work. I put my name and reputation on every bottle of Species Nutrition products. If you want to be your absolute best, join the evolution. What do you suggest instead of using Trend in the offseason, assuming uh, one is uh, using EQ and DECA? It says EQ and DECA and Trend, but I guess, I guess, so if they're using that combination, what would you suggest as an alternative to Trend? Okay. Yeah, some people don't do well on Trend, you know, um, and it's because it, sometimes it messes up the digestion. Some people get hiccups from it. Some people can't sleep at night from it. So, you know, in, in the off-season, trend didn't bother me quite as bad as it did in the, in the pre-contest, to be honest with you. Because when you're hungry and you're irritable from the trend, that, that's like a, a, a deadly combination. But if you can't do a trend, you could do Masteron in the off-season. I've, I've given guys 200 milligrams three times a week of Masteron with testosterone, and that seemed to work really well. You, if you can get injectable Dianabol, that's another good combination, injectable Dianabol with um, a test. Now, you can do oral Dianabol, too, but a lot of times the orals can, can kind of blunt your appetite a little, which is going to make it hard for you to eat in the off season. You know, probably of all the people I work with, and I have a lot of clients, you know, from competitive bodybuilders, women, you know, everyone has the most trouble with the off season eating enough food, you know, because it's just not fun to eat when you're not hungry. It, you know, when you first start on the off season, you're, you're starving because you're usually coming off a contest diet or some kind of diet you did. So you can eat any, your appetite is unlimited, but then eventually you hit this like plateau where you just don't want to eat anymore. And if you don't eat, you don't grow. And, and so you, finding a way to eat is, is important. Taking orals sometimes can, can, can blunt your appetite a little bit. And, and that's not a good thing. So you want to watch out for that. Now, these questions were really good. And these are questions that are on the Dave Palumbo Experience app. All the app members can ask whatever questions they want. I answer them all in an open forum. I take the best questions and do a QA and a uh, video every week for the app members. It's only $29 a month. I, we've had a lot of signups lately. If you're a serious bodybuilder or you're a serious coach and you want to constantly keep learning and expanding your education, you could even probably use this for your um, for your continuing education on, on your personal training certification because you need to keep educating yourself and keeping up. And this is a way, an easy way to do it because I'm constantly reminding you and reinforcing these, these concepts of how diet works, how nutrition works, how the performance enhancing drugs work. And you have the ability to ask me as many questions as you want. Plus, you can go back and watch all my videos and all my writings that I've ever done. And so it's a really good learning experience. You can check it out at the Android store or the iTunes store. So, again, those two questions are from the Dave Palumbo Experience app. We now go to our Facebook questions and Instagram questions. If you're not following us on Facebook, just search for RX Muscle on Instagram, official underscore RX Muscle. We have a ton of good questions. See how many we can get to. Um, James Walters, uh, you being a supplement company owner, one right up your alley. Thoughts on the FDA not regulating supplement companies? How can businesses quality control microbiological contaminations and factual amounts of ingredients if not regulated? It's it's a very valid question, and you know it, it's it's it, it concerns me because, and I'm not really worried about contamination as much because if you know anything about the nutrition uh, business, if you're a manufacturer. You have to test uh, all the raw ingredients that come into your facility for impurities. So heavy metals. There's, there's, there's. You're not. Most likely, you're not getting tainted unless you have some guy making it in his in his house or something like that. But most big brands, you know, that that are well known, are doing it through a legitimate, you know, uh, FDA approved manufacturing facility. So there's not going to be contaminants in there. What you need to worry about is what they're actually putting in the products. So in other words, are they using cheap way isolates? Are they protein spiking? Are they using fillers? Are they adding hidden sugars and stuff like that? That's what bothers me because I know that, you know, species nutrition is a very high end line. We hold, you know, I test my products constantly to make sure my manufacturers are doing, you know, putting the right stuff in there. And it's important, you know, and if, you know, if I have to charge more for my products because they're a higher end, I don't want to compete against a, a company that's selling supposedly the same product, which they never are, you know for, you know, $10 cheaper than mine when I know they're using a junkier, you know, uh, ingredient or they're maybe skimping on something. So I would like to see FDA possibly testing products for to confirm what's in there is actually in there and then maybe giving like an FDA stamp of approval. 
And it could be voluntary even, you know what I mean? It doesn't, you know, you, they might come out with a program, hey, if you want to be verified by the FDA, you know, here, you send your products here with all your paperwork. We test the products. We'll give it a stamp of approval if, if everything meets regulation. And, uh, you know, and then this way, certain companies will have that, that branding. I remember Bill Phillips was doing this back in the 90s, where if you wanted to be an advertiser on Muscle Media 2000, he would, you know, he would test your products. And if they met his stamp of approval, he'd put his own Bill Phillips, you know, whatever stamp of or Muscle Media 2000 stamp of approval. And everyone would know that, hey, that product was a good quality product because Bill tested it and, and it tested out. So I would love to have that. You know, as a, as a person who has full transparency and honesty in my products, I love that. I'm sure there's a lot of companies out there that just don't want it. I, why FDA hasn't gotten involved? Now, having said that, I don't want FDA regulating everything we do and saying, hey, you know what? You can't sell this. You can't sell that. It's, we want to make it a prescription. That I'm not for because they would love to make every vitamin a prescription by prescription. I'm sure they would. And that's just not acceptable either.